Welcome back to Technology. So what you're going to have to do is get some of the prerequisites. So you're going to need Docker and you're going to need Go. You're also going to need Git. So make sure to install Git as well. So step one is you're going to Git clone the Hyperledger repository. Hyperledger fabric. And make sure to use the sudo command. What you want to do is set up docker so you're going to run sudo system control start docker then you're going to enable it after it is enabled you're going to cd into that fabric sample next you want to get docker compose so we're going to install dark compose install docker compose so that's what we're going to do next the sudo apt update and then install docker compose And give it a minute while that installs. While that installs, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As well as the notification bell. Give a like and send a comment as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So we have the dependencies. Now let's start our Docker image. So we're going to get an, an error because we're going to have to use the sudo command. So we're going to start that test network. Let's get to the code. All right, now we're in the code. As you can see on the top, we have our package main. We are going to import our GitHub uh, contract API. There's other things that we're going to import later, but you can import that now if you'd like you can import fmt as well as encoding json and after we create our struct for our contract we're going to create another contract for our medical records data this is the data that we had from our previous django project so what we're going to do is create that struct And I'm gonna put five records. These records are for ID, name, sex, ethnicity, symptoms, treatment, and blood type. You can add more elements later as obviously medical records are very robust. We're creating those five records and let's add another element for age again you can add as many elements as you like especially with medical records data putting it on a private blockchain you might want to have it more robust than this but just for the sake of this project we're just going to only add age and again this is all encoded as a json JSON is JavaScript uh, object notation. If you're familiar with JavaScript, you're very familiar with JSON objects. JSON objects are just very easy to read, especially when it comes to APIs. All right, and now we have a little bit more functions that we've inputted. We inputted a function for creating a medical record data, for updating medical record data, for deleting medical record data, and finally, in our package main, which, as you might know, is how we run things in a Golang project, we're going to input our final steps in our package main. So let's create our function for main. And first, we're going to create our asset chain code. Well, actually, we're going to change it to ledger chain code. Again, this is in Hyperledger. With Hyperledger, you operate based on chain code. 
Just in case we have any errors. And as you remember, we're going to be using a pointer to our contract. And we're using the colon equal sign so we don't have to, basically it's an inference, we can infer the type here. Just taking a look back at our functions. And by the way, what we'll be doing is debugging this smart contract as well. So I named it my contract. So, and we will eventually be debugging that my contract because that my contract is actually a pointer to smart contract and we'll get to that in a minute. Next thing that we're doing is running an if statement this if statement is for the chain code. So if there's any errors with the chain code, our code will panic. And then we're running another if statement. Again, we're using that type inference. And this is for the ledger chain code. We're gonna run that start function. And it will panic. there's any error with starting and we also have functions above as we briefly went over that had to deal with creating the contract I'm sorry creating the ledger updating the ledger and all those good things so before we build our smart contract we're gonna run go mod in it for my contract we have that there. Then we're gonna run go mod tidy and then go build. Before we run go build, we're gonna run go get and actually get the API. And now let's debug our smart contract. As you can see here, there's a pointer and we're actually pointing to our medical ledger that we created above. If you have any questions about pointers, I will have the pointer video I made with Golang be attached to this video. Then we did another pointer there to record. I'm sorry, a reference to record. We're going to save it and we're going to try it again. So we still have some errors. And jumping back into the code. So one error that I had was that the pointer was to the function I called for my contract when the pointer should actually be to the smart contract API. So we're gonna change that throughout our code. Reason why I'm showing this debugging process is because debugging is just a part of programming. So knowing how to debug and find these errors quickly will be very, very helpful in your programming journey no matter what language you choose.
So now we're going to save all again. We run go build and it works this time. There is one final step. And that's actually we're going to initiate our test network like we did before. And if you wanted to publish this to the blockchain, you can run go run your chain code as well. Subscribe for more.